Welcome to Functional Horsemanship, and I want to take just a minute to talk about tying safety. Uh, I've seen recently about three or four horses uh, pull back that were tied hard and fast, either to a to a, a, an arena fence or to a trailer D or some of that nature, and they were they were tied up hard where they uh, they had no no release in that lead, and then when they got pulled back from either being spooked or whatnot, it puts pressure on that rope halter or that webbing halter across the pole here and it panics the horse. You know, and then they're gonna pull back harder, they're either gonna hurt themselves or they're gonna break uh, the snap on that lead. This the snap on this lead is the is the weak point. I've even had tied on leads uh, that have that have uh, where the halters broke, usually up around the pole, that's where the most pressure is. And I've had big horses, 13 1400 pound horses do that. This guy's a lot a lot smaller. He's probably about 700 pounds. He's a he's an older horse, but he hasn't been used much. He's kind of left with us, and we really don't know what much to do with him. Uh, but uh, I want to be able to tie him before I before I hard tie him any place uh, to get get him tacked up. I want to I want to get him sacked out on pulling back. So it's kind of counterintuitive. I'm going to hook him to the trailer, and I'm going to create some anxiety for him, have him pull back, and get a release. So he'll, he's going to get a little bit of pressure. But as soon as he stops, he gets that release because of this, this rope is being fed through this friction device called a tie ring. This is my tie ring. I call this the functional tie ring. I think it's easier to use than some other ones on the market, but any of them will work. And all I'm doing is I'm taking a bite in the lead. And in some cases, if I got a real spooky horse, like if this guy pulls back real hard, I may have to go to a, a lot longer lead, like a lunge line, a 25 foot lunge line, as opposed to this 14 foot lead. But I'm gonna get a bite in the lead I'm going to stick it up through the, the big hole in the uh, tie ring here. I'm going to watch my fingers so I don't get pinched on here in case he pulls back and just loop it over that snap. And from there, I'm going to snap him up through the D-ring on the trailer. I'm going to cinch him up a little bit here. Initially, I want it, I want it a little bit taut so he doesn't get that big jerk when he pulls back. And I'm going to get this rope out of his way. You already see by his eye that he's real concerned because he probably hasn't been out of his pen much. Over, over. No, over. There you go, over. It's real important once you create some energy and get him moving back, that as soon as he moves back and gets and stops and gets that release, you remove that pressure, give him a break. You know, so it may look like this. I really don't know how it's going to turn out with, with this little horse called Sonny. I'm going to create some pressure. Pull back. Then he stopped. I'm taking the pressure away from him. It's a good boy. It's a good boy. This is his release. This is where he starts learning. So he needs this release and this pause to start to, to learn and to think that things aren't going to be that bad for him. I'm going to lead him back here. I'm going to cinch him up again. and put that pressure back on it. Just enough pressure to make it move. You see, he even backed up less that time. So he, soon, he starts to back up. As soon as he stops, that pressure on the pole is released. You know, and if you do this enough, he, uh, you can do it one day, but you do it enough, he's going to learn that he's not going to need to pull back. So what happens when you, when you hard tie a horse? Well, when you hard tie a horse, um, I have a horse that I've used nothing but a tie ring on for about five or six years, and he sacked out on this. I've done this drill with him. Uh, the other day, uh, he was hard tied, and somebody drove in and slammed the doors of a truck and spooked him. He pulled back. He got that. He got that hard tie. He got that pull on his that pressure on his pole, and then he stopped, took a step forward. That pressure was released, and. You know, he ended up not hurting himself or breaking that lead line. So that's what you're trying to teach the horse. I'm going to do it one more time. Okay, he stops, he looks at me. You see there's a little bit of slack in the lead line, pressure's reduced. I'm going to do that until he gets no reaction whatsoever. And this is a horse that's probably not even sacked out to a fly. No, I guess not. Probably never had a fly worked on it before, but in any event, you know, you can see where 
he got a little bit of a release once he stopped, and I keep doing that, keep cinching it back up three or four more times, four or five more minutes, you know, and he's going to be a lot better to tie, and I could probably risk hard time the little guy. You got to make sure in between those pressure sets that you give him a little bit of a break there. That's where he learns. And all I do is un unhook the, uh, the tie ring. Once I want to take the, the rope off the tie ring, I'll get over here where you can see it. Again, all I'm doing is keep my fingers out of the way, pull on that rope, loop it around the, the, uh, the uh, snap here, and pull it out. And I've got a free lead line for this horse. You know, look at him. He doesn't know what's going on. I know, buddy, I can need to take you out of the pen more often, even though you've been abandoned. Well, I hope that helps. Uh, you know, if you guys can't tie your horses or before you hard time, you know, use something like this. There's my tie ring. I got it available on my website. You can go to uh, Clinton Anderson's Aussie tie ring, which is an example of the old blocker tie ring. There's the clip. There's a lot of different tie rings you can use or you can fashion something yourself, but it's a thing to get your horses sacked out on for their safety as well as yours. You all have a safe journey now.